everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. Now, we are filming this on Friday, but this is going to be airing on Monday in lieu of what we normally do, which is the Monday mystery. But this is kind of a mystery. We can say it's kind of a, a, mis a magical mystery. And you guys recognize my friend Brad, who you guys know him from the original video we did on Spooky 2. How are you doing today, Brad, before we get into awesome. the Awesome. Yep. <laughs> We we love I, I I just I we love a good like science nerd that's gonna just totally understand the way you know like cause science in our in our on our mainstream world science it's become too black and white it's become too you know like but science is spirituality and spirituality is science they're all part of that mystical world and our ancient ancestors and all our cultures knew this the priests were also the doctors right and I love these products like Spooky Tomb we're gonna talk about a sister product today called Miramat. And I've just been introduced to this product. I'm familiar with, with the pads that people lay on. Um, and so I brought Brad on, you guys, because you're going to get the same discount code if you want to purchase the Miramat. They do for Spooky, too. It's going to be in the description box. You'll just enter my name, Bryce Watson, at checkout for 5% off. But, you know, we want, we, we're a huge supporter on this channel for knowledge is power, knowledge protects, and knowledge is infinite. We want people to understand what it is they're actually getting in, involved in with the product. So we brought the genius himself. So I'll say it's the pad, you lay on it, and it gives you frequency. <laughs> but we brought Brad on because he can talk a little bit more about what this actually is. Okay, so yes, um, Miramate is the sister company to Spooky2. Um, they help bring um, not only simplicity of use, but some portability aspects, as well as some meditation aspects, and even full body nighttime lay down on mats aspects that are going to be bringing frequencies that are pulsed up into your body to help rejuvenate and help replenish the cellular communication that's happening inside your body. So when you start at the very bottom, you know, normally you have something like the Mini Magic. Uh, the Mini Magic is very small, it's tiny, it uh, has portability and durability. It's very uh, simple and easy to use. It clips right onto your belt. Um, it has multiple different power options, meaning you can plug it in directly at home with a 5 volt power supply, or you can plug it into a battery charger or just run it off a 9 volt battery while you're out and on the go. And that's the beautiful part about it is like if you need something that has the ability to help alleviate pain or alleviate issues or um, inflammation even uh, throughout the body, this is going to be an ideal product that if you're just going out to the beach or if you're going to go walk around that you can bring with you clipped on and use on an as need basis from a portability perspective. Yeah. That so could you, could you do it like if, if you were like, let's say like a long distance runner, could you run with that on? Absolutely. Like for the most part, it just has these coil systems inside of it. And these coils you can attach with a headband or anywhere. Like if I put them on my headband, you could put them anywhere that you wanted to, to help bring the frequencies from the portable device of the unit itself directly into the body. So whether you're running or walking, or again, as I mentioned before, out at the beach or anything like that, the, the portability feature is endless with this because you can take it anywhere you go. So there's no harm. There's, there's nothing that's going to be counterintuitive to yeah, like hiking in the mountains, people who have knee restrictions but want to get back into doing movement, that might be something that's... Well, and a lot of the times, particularly people that have these that are, uh, say, like hikers or something like that where they're going out, normally the people where they get to a certain point where their body is starting to ache based off of what's going on or the scenery that they're in uh, or the conditions that they're putting their body in, this is a really awesome solution versus saying, oh, I need to take Tylenol to saying, oh, my knee is starting to ache. I can just clip this on and turn it on and put these on either side of my knee. And I'm, now I can alleviate that pain without having to introduce medications. That's amazing. That's something we definitely, you know, we definitely, so it's working kind of like spooky too. It's working with vibrational frequency and energy, right? Yeah, it's still sending frequencies into the body, you know, like, but you're using these frequencies to help balance the irregularities of things like inflammation or, again, um, people use them for depression. A lot of people use them for anxiety. You know, like if these are things like that, that people, again, when you're just out walking or you're on the beach or you're doing whatever, you can take care of using these things on your persons while you're out enjoying life. You don't have to be plugged into the wall anywhere. Is there a, is there for, because I know this is a question people might ask, like if you're going for like an hour hike, is there a time, I mean, as, as long as the battery is good, is there, is there too much where you need to, like, can you only do it for an hour or can the body just take it as long as you want to do it? No. Uh, and again, that's the beautiful thing about this is that you can, you'll never like overdo it. Um, 
the device itself is very simplistic. It has a multiple settings on here. So if you're using a high setting or a medium or a low setting, depending upon how sensitive you are to frequencies, you can always adjust it accordingly to yourself, but you'll never overdo something like this. Um, and again, like even if you look at the higher end products, like the Pro, the Pro mat uh, is a mat that can lay on the entire bed and it has yeah. coil and technology that will pulse, you know, audio vibrational frequencies up into the body while you rest and repair using a carrier wave. And so something like that, yes, the mat itself, this is awesome. People sleep on these all night, you know, and again, even the mat versus something like what you're going to get over this uh, portability of this device, you could run on sleep on that all night. You could run on this all night. As long as you have power, you can definitely run. I'm, I'm going to try to pull them up because I've seen the mats, you know, the mats I was telling you off camera, I have experience. I'm sorry, guys, my internet's being very slow. We had the uh, debate here in Atlanta last night. And there's a lot going on. So there, it pulled up. So the mats. Now, I um, again, I, to I told you offline, I've had some experience with another company many years ago with these mats. And I was telling you, so my, my boyfriend has been involved in the alternative, we'll say the alternative healing arts for most of his adult life. And so he's really hard. He's really hard to please because he's tried it all and done it all. And he sure. loves these mats. And um, is this the mat, the one, is this the one you lay on right here? The, uh, that's the pro. And then the big magic mat right to the left of it. That's more like, again, I use this for more ideal for just meditation. Or again, if I just am sitting on the couch or something like that, and I, but I want to turn on or pull something, this is the most ideal solution for me is the big mat. Whereas the pro is normally, as you see, it's a full mat. It's more yes. ideal for like bed or cot solutions where you can kind of lay it down and lay on top of it and let it pulse all those frequencies up into the body and balance the entire energy levels of the body more naturally. Well, it's interesting because I've seen other companies, because this is like, I don't know if it's just the algorithms of what I look at, but they've been advertising like crazy. It might actually be this company, I, I, but these, that these mats that people are like literally sleeping on every single night. To, oh, yeah. to change their the to, and, and that's not incredible like w at night when we go to sleep anyway that's the time of integration and healing and then we sure. get an extra bonus well and again like when your body gets down to that restorative level sleep that's where you're doing the legwork of repairing and fixing everything up and you get the most reparative work done something like this introduced into the home equation or even on the portable equation side of things helps it quicken that process up you know like again when you get down to the, that lower level of sleep and you're putting your body into that repair work, these frequencies are going in there and using to help balance and restore the cellular communication of things as they change in the body. Do you know what I'm wondering, Brad, and you might not know the answer to this. I am, um, and I know a lot of my viewers right now, we talk a lot about trauma and anxiety. And I've talked a lot about, I, I myself many years ago was diagnosed with CPTSD complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And I did go through trauma therapy with EMDR but I remember something interesting my therapist said is that, and that relates to the MDR, is that when you have an extreme anxiety, sometimes your body is not able to get into REM sleep because you're 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 literally too your your core your cortisol letters levels are higher, too stressed out to actually get comfortable, yeah. and a lot of people struggle with that. And I'm wondering if this would actually help that. For Absolutely. People because again, like the balancing when the body correctly goes into those sleep patterns, you're release, releasing melatonin, you're releasing the things that you should. But if you're already cluttered and overwhelmed, that can cause those frustrations. A lot of times with people who really, really suffer from anxiety, right as they get ready to go to bed, things start heating up, things start, you know, yeah. feeling strange yeah. again. These are these types of feelings that you can help alleviate. Um, again, doesn't matter if you're using the portable uh, mini magic or the big magic or the pro magic. They all have PEMF capability technologies that can help alleviate that, open up the circulation and blood flow in your body to help things flow more smoothly. That's yeah. I, and also, you know, for me, like I as a child, I now I know that was the anxiety. I struggled with having like night terrors and nightmares. Yeah. And I'm wondering, because that's obviously a state of mind, which everything in consciousness is a vibrational frequency. We know that from like Ayurveda medicine. I wonder if that would help too with people who perhaps struggle with not- 100%. Like I always try to tell people like the equivalency of what this does from a sleeping perspective is when you go to bed, bringing the clutter of your day as the congestion on a dry erase board, this is the magic eraser that just goes through and says, okay, well, we're just going to forget all this stuff and we're going to wipe you clean and get you recharged and send you back out tomorrow with a new full battery. That's amazing. Cause I know like when we are, when we as human beings, um, we, there's a saying, we say sleep on it, right? We sleep on it. 
normal stress that we can handle, like normal daily stress, we can sleep on it. And what I know from the EMDR, that what you're saying, like the dry erase board, that's what the neurons in the brain do is they go in a race. And so you feel better in the morning. But when you're so high anxiety, you can't get that to happen. But this could be an alternative to help your body do what it is supposed to do naturally. Right. Now, and that's really what easier. this is. And that's primarily the basis behind a lot of the PEMF technologies is they just want to introduce a more natural mel you know, method of restoring the body's energy paths, restoring the stuff that it, your body should naturally be doing. But because of the hecticness of the environments that we live in, we miss out on that many a nights. Yeah, it's I, I think about it. We spoke about Tartaria last time, and I'm a huge fan of the uh, Tartar Tartarian perspective of our history. And I know a lot of our viewers, our friends watching are very well oh, yeah. versed. And this is what they were doing, right? With the cathedrals. And it was this. Well, I, honestly, this I think that they were doing way more than this, but the technology is similar. Yes. You know, like they were, and again, from my, my research and my understanding of, you know, Tartarian technologies, you had massive buildings that were used as healing centers that today, modern day technologies uh, or modern day, you know, references are known as churches or synagogues or places like that, that have these massive organ systems. And they have the ability to heal the body as you're generally in them using resonance. That's what I think their original purpose was back in, back in those times when you had uh, the technologies of that, they were using resonance for everything, you know, healing the body, repairing the natural way of getting the stuff that shouldn't be there to vibrate and and leave it makes so much sense it's like you know when you, you see vibrational like they show those uh where they put like little crumbs and they start to shake it and the crumbs start to shake off that's kind of well it's like in nature you know you see wild animals when they shake they it's like you know they shake their nervous system i i was speaking with my friend Catherine about this there's a book I, and it's in my trunk in india i can't remember the name of it but he talked about how like the animal's nervous system when a, a wild animal is in in that fight or flight they react if they're being uh, preyed upon or, you know, they'll do certain things. But once if they survive it, once it's over, they allow their nervous system, they'll start to shake a chance to kind of shake it off. And then they'll go about their day. But as human beings, I think because we have a, co a more complex um, thought and where I think we are way more easily programmable too. even though our natural body, the body keeps score, right, is not programmable. The brain is we don't allow ourselves that time to shake. And so if that's not something someone is used to, this seems like a, an, a, an excellent thing to bring into their life to get their body to start to experience what the nervous system is actually supposed to do. We see this in, um, in military veterans who come back from war who have PTSD and they show them shaking. And part of their therapy is to, to get into that environment to let their, their nerves kind of shake it off, if that makes sense. No, it absolutely makes sense. And that's exactly what these this type of technology is designed to do from all three of these types of products. You know, uh, again, the portability, the ability of saying, I'm just, I feel stressed or I feel anxiety, I feel overloaded. Let me take my mini and go for a walk. Again, these are wonderful ways that you can start help accelerating your body's natural ability to repair itself using PEMF technologies. Now, this the mini one that you say you sit on for meditation sometimes. Could somebody potentially put this on their chair at their desk at work? Absolutely. Like on the back of the chair, people sit on them. The thing has 20 plus coils in it. So uh, the way that they pulse and bring frequencies in. Now, this one uses a base frequency of the Schumann resonance. So it uses 7.83 hertz uh, as kind of the carrier frequency for all the pulsing that it does into the body. This is basically like a grounding process. Okay, yeah. So actually, I was actually going to ask you that too. I, I was talking to someone about like the feet as well. We know the feet, you know, um, reflexology, there's certain uh, trigger points at the bottom of your foot. That's why a lot of these ancient practices like yoga, jujitsu, they don't they don't wear shoes. It's, be it's because of the foot actually needs to stabilize. Now, can people put this under their feet too, to help get Absolutely. that? Foot? And honestly, I've done a lot of this with certain clients where we're doing like a footpath detoxifications on the spooky two side, and then we'll have them step on the mats to help bring the PEMFs up through the bottom of the feet to help start re again, doing that cellular communication and the uplifting and the rejuvenation of the cells in the bottom area where we're now going to start bringing in new blood flow. That's amazing. I, it's so funny because, you know, for people who don't know, like with grounding outside, like going outside and standing barefoot on the grass for like, 50, not the concrete, the grass guys for 15 minutes, what you're taking in is you are taking in all the electronic pulses from things like lightning, from things that have struck the ground that your body, but this seems like, you know, if you're out in nature, this seems like you have your own personal ability to get that pulsation back versus relying on 
um, the, the, the lightning struck energy that's still being held in the, in the grass to come back in through your body. And the foot, you know, people don't recognize the foot as being, the foot is a major part of our health system. Absolutely. You know, it's the root. It's it's the root of where everything happens. And we get stuck in shoes too that, that mess that up. And um, I was- Well, I would try to tell people, like when you start getting tuned into the dissonance of the world that, and the environment that you live in, you would be absolutely dumbfounded how simple you could resolve so many issues in your life if you simply took off your socks and shoes and went out and stood in the grass for a couple of minutes. Watch the balance of what happens between the positive and negative ion exchange of whatever was bothering you and how quickly it just washes away when you start correctly cycling energy like you're supposed to inside of you. I was telling somebody a really funny story the other day. I um because I spent a lot of before lockdown, I was going back and forth to India and spending a lot of time, time in India, in a small town in India to study with my teacher. And in Indian culture, you don't wear sh like shoes when you go into a house or anywhere, you leave your shoes outside. You just do not wear shoes. It's disrespectful to bring dirty shoes in. And um, I, I think I had a lot of, you know, when you're in India, you're, you're going through a full body healing. But I had a lot, I think I had a lot of healing just spending like four of the first four months I was there, not really wearing shoes at all. And I came back home after that first trip and I was heading to the grocery store and I found myself kicking my flip flops off before I went into Publix to the grocery <laughs> store, so, <laughs> which is illegal here. I was like, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm not I'm not in India anymore. I've got to put my shoes back on. But, but no, you know, I know. Like uh, same thing. Like uh, I used to have all kinds of like normal aches and pains and just regular inflammation problems. But I started walking my service beagle around the block just with no socks and shoes on. And even like the little loop around the four streets. By the time I got back to the house, I felt better. And I was like, man, that is crazy. Dude. I didn't have to do, take anything. I didn't have to drink nothing. I didn't have to do nothing. All I did was take my socks and shoes off and walk. And this is the result of how much better I feel. Like there's way, there's way more to this. Yeah. The foot, I will say too, for ladies, you know, high heel shoes. And I love a good high heel, but that is shortening your, your calf muscle as well. And the connection to the foot, the calf is the second heart of the body. So a lot of people might have hip issues or knee issues s s simply because of the shoes you're having to wear to work. Even men's business shoes like contract the toes. And, um, you know, and, and it is, it is so it's when we start to, that's a beautiful thing about the body, right? Like the body is not, it's not this like permanent thing. It's constantly moving awesome. to change. Yep. And so that okay. means you get to control that. Like you can actually help direct where that energy goes. Well, and like I said, that's the thing is like, uh, take advantage of where we live in, in our current societies you know like we've got other factors that are playing against us so having something that you can take back into your house or back into your own possessions and say oh no i am going to balance this or i am going to help regulate or i'm going to help restore and repair myself so that i feel better and then i get more out of each day these are just devices of help improving your overall quality of life through the means of pemf coils and if we don't have our health we really have nothing and we know that's one of the main things that they are trying to attack is is the longevity of of our life and you know i even i even believe the foot like standing on this you know i've, I've struggled with digestion issues and a lot of that is connected to the foot as well and so having that vibrational pulse up through the leg up through the the inner thigh into the the, the circulatory system of the colon is going to help get those vital organs i would imagine to to continue to because that those you know i always tell my students you know flexibility of body is not as important as strength but what is important is flexibility of organs like organ the, the more flexible your organs are the more the younger you're going to feel and so you see that with twisting with all sorts of stuff but with this type i think that this would also in my opinion especially under the foot or if you lay on it, would actually send that into the organs to help them detox themselves. And this is the beautiful part is like, let's assume that you have something in the body that you don't even know or you're, that you're aware of the location of. This is beautiful because a whole body mat is will just alleviate the whole thing. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, I was having an issue in this part or in that part. If, if you're laying on the mat, you're covered. I will say it's so funny you say that too. My friend Catherine and I spoke about this last week. Um, I know from Ayurvedic medicine, my own experiences, that sometimes, and this is what's interesting, guys, with the human body. So sometimes you might be feeling a lot of pain in your right shoulder, but it's not your right shoulder that's the problem. It's your left hip. And the right shoulder, because it's diagonal, is overcompensating. And so you go to treat the shoulder. But the shoulder is never going to get better until the hip is actually addressed. But right. you don't know it's your hip. That's the problem. And so I think this would be really good for something like that because there are things that we're ignorant to that we don't realize where the body is overcompensating for another part of the body. 
And like I said, that that's the kind of nice and the, uh, the simplicity about the different product selections is it doesn't matter if you're addressing something that's exclusively on the back or you only have time for this at work. The big magic is perfect. Whereas if you want to address things specifically at night, the pro is going to be most ideal because it's going to cover the whole body. It's going to lay on the bed. You have much better choice in audio selections of what you're bringing into those frequencies as you you know lay on top of that mat. And again, the portability factor of the mini uh, it gives you an option for any which way. So even if you know or don't know what's wrong with you, like, oh, I now I know I have inflammation in my knee. Mini is perfect. You can put it right where the source of the problem that you know is. Do you know what's interesting, too? I'm sitting here thinking about the body. And, of course, this is what I do outside of YouTube. So many people also have major, major hip problems. And oh, they yeah. don't realize it because, like, it's hard to strap your stretch your hips, right? It's the, the hip, you know, the, the femur bone. It's it's supposed to be mobile. You uh, people should be able to put their foot behind their head because the the that's the but it's been restricted through inflammation and tension, and also shoes and and just stress. The hips, the biggest joint in the body, so it kind of becomes like the junk the junk drawer where you take all your emotions. Yeah. Um, I know we spoke about this last time. Uh, this, in my opinion. Um, any help that you have is actually psychosomatic. It all comes from thought. And yes. so stress can get stored in the hip and that hip, hip stretches. There's only a few stretches that actually get into the hip. This seems like it would be really good for hip issues. Wonderful. And again, as you're talking, like even severe issues like that, that if, as you don't know, progress over time, now you're dealing with arthritis and, you know, in support, severe complications of something that you can't even piece together where it's coming from. Um, but something like this is, very ideal for again whole body treatments throughout the course of the night you know i try to remind everybody that we're electrical beings you know and, yeah. and that's why every night when we sleep did i lose you can you hear me oh there i got you back i got you back i thought i lost you all right you said every night when we sleep <laughs> Yeah, I was saying every night when you sleep that um, that this is a way of helping make sure that you recharge your body fully without all the other distractions of the things that are going on in our life. Well, it's funny you say we're electrical beings because that's what an electron is, right? Absolutely. Electron, neutron, proton. Back to back to high school chemistry, guys. Electrons are telling you right there. You're you are electricity. We do this. Um, we do this a lot. Like I, I do this with my students too. A lot. I have them like rub their hands together really fast to create that heat. And then yep. when you hold your hands apart, you can actually start to feel the generation of energy coming from your hands. That's how Reiki is performed, right? I, and so, I show people this all the time through this visual. This is a child's toy that I take with me like all the time when I go out in public. It has no batteries. There's nothing in it. It's just a bunch of wires and cables. But the moment you connect it with the energy from your body. Oh, that's wild. That's so cool. Yeah. So we are the cells that light this stuff. You know, so keeping that cell high and energized and up, that's key to having a wonderful quality of life. And that's the, con you're the conductor then of that, of your own life force, your own chi, Absolutely. your own prana. It's, um, you know, they, they tell us that we have like all this junk DNA, which I'm like, have you seen this earth? There's no junk. Like it's not junk DNA. It's something else. Um, now these things. So my stepdad uses, is this specifically which you device you put like deep. So explain to me this gun thing. What the is, it? is honest. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. You use this for anything topical, like skin related issues. Now, this is basically like having a mini plasma gun. Um, what the ray gun itself does is it um, produces ozone on the skin layer as you're treating it with a plasma based application that's handheld. Um, you can't control the variable frequency that you're using. But for skin related topical issues, this is wonderful because you actually smell the creation of the ozone on your arms or wherever you're using this as it's running over and treating the sessions of it. Like it, it's a very, very, very effective method for anything skin treatment topically. I am a huge believer in light therapy myself too. I will tell you, Brad, I've told this story on my channel before. Um, during 2020, I would go to the grocery store and I would be like the only person or one of the only people without one of these on. <laughs> and I started to notice that there was this guy who had this business beside the grocery store as a tanning bed business, and he never had one on either. And so I finally went into this, and you know, we've been taught all this stuff about tanning beds being so bad for you, all that kind of stuff. So I went in one day and I was like, I'm just gonna go talk to this guy because, you know, after 2020, we we saw each other, right? Sure. <laughs> when you yep. notice somebody else doesn't have this on, you're like, okay, okay. Yep. 
this is this guy's defiant and I love it. So I went and I had this conversation with him and he just basically opened up to me about everything. And he was, he's a bit older than me and he had been running a tanning bed business for a really long time. And he was telling me all of these things about that when I'll say president O because we're on YouTube, but president O when he was in office, he made these laws where people who own tanning beds had to like talk about the negative side effects and that you couldn't tell anybody the positive, the positive stuff about tanning beds. And he started, and he was like, you know, it was basically trying to destroy this industry. And, this, and that's the guy was like, this is when I woke up. This is when I realized, because he was telling me, did you know, like tanning beds actually can cure cancer. They actually are part, they're part of the light therapy. And so yep. that's what, so I actually have a few light therapy pieces. I know, and I know for me, I've noticed for me specifically, if I don't get sun, if I go a long time without sun, it actually will change. Like it will change the way I feel. It's, Absolutely. I feel like it's, we need it. We need the light therapy. 100%. And I think that, again, some of the higher powers that be out there know and are aware of that. And that's why you see some of the things happening in some of the weather with regards to keeping uh, the sun away from us. Yeah, they're tr Mr. Gates is trying to like, how narcissistic do you have to be to try to like, take away? <laughs> like, I'm just, you know, photosynthesis, everything on the planet needs sun, it, it needs the light to to trigger the growth of, of itself. I you know, so I love that. I love, I'm a huge supporter of light therapy. I'm a huge supporter. It, it, to me, it's just so important that people actually, you know, I've never been somebody who wore sunscreen when we were little. Um, mm -hmm. We would go to my mom's family to the coast of South Carolina and we'd be kicked outside all day. And I never had sunscreen put on me. Dude, same thing. Like, uh, I'm not a big fan of sunglasses. I, yeah. I stare at the sun all the time. Sun gazing is one of the best things that you can do for help restoring the eyes. And, um, the fact of like going blind by staring at it is complete BS. You'll never go blind from staring at the sun, but you do actually receive amazing health benefits. And that's one of the key things of you notice how you feel, you know? Absolutely. I threw my sunglasses out in 2020 <laughs> when I realized it. And I, I, and the funny thing is, is I would wear sunglasses a lot in, in India and I would get headaches with sunglasses from time to time. And when I realized that actually this is not helping you, I threw them out and I was like, you know what? I know my skin needs the sun. So obviously the eyes do too. It's part of our, our makeup. Um, now, now explain to me. So these, what are, so this is, this is the coil that goes with the, the carry on, right? That you can carry with yeah, you. So you can get additional replacement coils and things like that. Um, uh, and like you can get single coils, dual coils, quad coils. So like, if you wanted to have a four coil sit, that's diagonal down here to the left um, versus having just two coils. Uh, yeah. See that quad coil on the left-hand side there. Oh, and now what is this for men? I'm, I no that 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 what well, that says it on my glasses. All is the prostate pack. Yeah, uh, there are prostate bit, uh, pack applications, um, and actually there are a couple other you know like uh, and or male or female related products that kind of lean towards one section or area of treatments in the body uh, with using the same type of LED and or PEMF technologies. Oh, that's amazing. I uh, I was actually going to ask that about like menstrual cramps. Like I'm assuming this will really help women who struggle with uh, cramps. Um, <clears throat> there's another product on here. I'm not sure that it's still here. Um, go to the next. Sorry, my again, guys, my computers. Oh, we just have this. Oh, those are just the uh, UV ray glasses. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure that they necessarily still have it, but they used to have a wand that was um, designed for uh, feminine use that uh, was the same type of technology. Kind of like this. No, that's a that's the replacement gas tube for the okay. ray gun. Go up for this. Okay. Well, that yeah. Well, I, I would think too. Something like this would be would be. You could just sit on it, or even laying on it, or you can even you probably can use it. Almost like one of those mats. Those mats have portability to them. They have like a really nice carrying travel case. So if you wanted to keep it at the office, or if you wanted to keep it in the next to the bed, or uh, and like most of the time, if I'm using the one of the magic or something like that, I just throw the bag right under the bed and because the mat is large enough to either lay or sit on it. I would imagine too, like for women who struggle with cramps, like with the, when you can sit on, you can probably put it over your belly, like a, like almost like a heating pad too. Um, oh yeah. For cramps as well. Cause I know, I, I know that's. Again, like it has kind of, it has kind of some, some uh, bend to it, you know, like it's not just like a, a straight board. So it has maneuverability. So if you put it on a couch, if you put it on a chair, if you put it anywhere, you can almost wrap it around the body. If you had a, you know, blanket that you wanted to just lay on with it, uh, it can hit anywhere. I, yeah. And I, I'm even thinking for women problems too. Like I know for a lot of women, they get sore breasts that might help too with that as well for what's happening. Um, 
during during that the, the now what about kids are kicks i know i'll get that question can kids use this yeah and again the types of coil or frequencies and stuff like this that these are going to be these aren't too super high powerful and again i've always tried to kind of help and guide people in, into the understanding like when you're using resonant frequencies or you're introducing pulse frequencies into the body the body's only going to take what it needs you're never going to introduce problems you're never going to you know resolve something that wasn't currently already there so you only address issues that are present in the body. You'll never create issues with something like this. So a child, you know, I'm thinking like my sister and I got really bad growing pains growing up. I'm thinking if a child's got growing pains, you can let them lay on the mat to help with the joints. 100%. Um, no. Now, um, what about animals? Are animals? So, no, again, uh, when we have this on the bed, um, most of the time, if I leave this thing running throughout the course of the day and I can't track down the animals in the house, more than likely they're back on the bed on the mat. You know, we have laughed, Brad, and you guys, and I'm going to put the first episode we did together about Spooky 2 in the description box. But Brad, we have laughed. You told a story with Spooky 2, and this is a different product, guys. I'll put all the information down as well. You can get 5% off with them. With a dog who was constipated on my oh, yeah. last. And we have laughed about that, how you could fix the dog, but you, like, told your friend you went to go do it, and you're like, go home first. <laughs> Let me we have and he thanked me for it, man. He thanked me so much for it too, because I imagine like the disaster would have been him trying to get home and having to having her just, you know, and and you know, you know, regardless wh whatever animal you are, human or dog, constipation is not fun. It's not a fun thing to to do. Nor is it fun when you're on the road or away from a place of where you need to be. <laughs> And it hits you that it's time to release. I mean, it can cause like, and I'm sure this can, obviously the spooky too. I'm sure this can help too. We, we say, say in the yoga world, when people are super constipated or compacted, we won't let them practice because we don't want them to bruise their internal organs. So that's a serious, you know, that's a, it's a funny one, but it's a serious, it's a serious uh, health problem. I love this fa fatigue and lethargy too. Cause you know, I live in the middle of Atlanta, Georgia, and I, can tell like when I'm in Florida, we're in a smaller town and we go to Florida a lot with my, my uh, boyfriend's family. Um, I feel better. I'm not as congested. And then I come back to the city and I'm, I'm right in the middle of the city and I'm congested again. And I'm imagining for people like myself that have to live in big cities, this is a great, again, a great way to counter. Cause it's not like you can actually, you know, like with shoes, you can't go to your board meeting to your, no. to your barefoot. You're going to have to play the game um, well, for your survival. Fortunately, I can because I'm my own small business owner and, my boss. and he lets me go to those types of meetings without shoes. So a lot of times, like when I meet new clients for the first time, they're like, oh, hello and no shoes. And I'm like, no, no shoes. <laughs> I well, I teach in a yoga shala, so no, we never have shoes on. But um, but yeah, it's it's for, for I like I like how you said it's countering because for our friends watching right now that do have corporate jobs that do have to do things in order to play the game to support their family, um, this can help kick, give you that balance back so you can continue doing what you need to do to survive in this matrix, um, but also start to turn turn that ship around when it comes to your own health. Um, yeah, is there anything else on the website we should show, Brad, or is that is that um, check under the cold laser program or a products options for me. The products. Yeah, you should see uh, LED oh, light. Yeah, cold device. laser. Yeah. This one. And again, yep. sorry guys, my my computer, my internet is so slow because we had the presidential debate here in Atlanta last night. So there's a lot going on. So I apologize if it's taking a bit to. All right. So here's the cold laser. It's up. Yeah, so cold laser, again, this is one of my other preferred methods of delivery. Um, cold laser uh, helps get those frequencies into the blood, and the blood goes everywhere throughout the body. So low laser light therapy, um, in addition to the PEMF therapy, these are products that make Miramate, again, a sister company that work very well with Spooky 2 products. Um, scroll down just a little bit. I want to see if there's another product on here. Um, there's so many products on here, isn't it? This is wild. Yes. Yes, there are uh, lots of them. Um, okay, that product Here's right there, that, that, feminine. Feminine, that is yeah. exactly what I was looking for. This is the one that would be most ideal for the situations that you mentioned earlier on the feminine side. Okay, wow. Yeah, so, and ladies, that is actually pretty cheap knowing that you spend once a month dealing with this stuff. So, and we know... Yeah. Like, Ladies, we know like you're expected to continue working when you're literally your uterus is literally detoxing. So a couple of months ago, they did ask me to do a YouTube uh, tutorial to cover this. But 
I, I can't speak on a product that I've never used, so I had to pass, like hard pass on this, but I know I'm confident there are women out there that have benefited from this or that have used this. And again, I'm until I can talk to people like that that have said, hey, yeah, I've used it and this is what I felt or this is what I noticed, I can't go out and do a webinar to help people talk about something that I haven't used. So I'm going to put a shout out, Brad. If you are somebody watching this right now and you've used this, let me know and I'll set you up with Brad because I get that, Brad. Like, I'm not going to talk to, I'm not going to go and tell a guy how to use a prostate. Yeah, that's not, no. I don't know. It's not. No, like, I like speaking from experience and straight honesty. You know, like, and if I haven't used a product, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> great. It's great. No, it's, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I actually saw a really funny short the other day, Midol, which you guys now know, Midol is a product they created for women for pain relief for, for their period. And this guy had, had gotten a bad headache and he did this video. He'd stopped at the convenience store to get some Advil and they were out of it. So he, they, the lady was like, we have Midol. And the guy was like, but Midol is for women. She goes, no, actually it's, it's to relieve all the symptoms. So he took Midol and he was like, you know, this, this, his idea that it was just for girls. And he was like, man, my headache went away fast. It's, it's so yeah, I get that, that, that different gender specific. I thought it was hysterical, but yeah. And for those of us watching, you know, most of us are trying to move away from the pH. I can't say the word on YouTube, but the big business that o now owns our health, we're trying to move away from, from that because, you know, in my opinion, God, God doesn't make mistakes and we have an immune system. We have what we need. And I'll tell you something interesting, Brad, I used to work with a with a Chinese medicine doctor. And he would tell me all the time that women are not supposed to have cramps, that that is something that has that that, that it's because of our food, it's because of, of our environmental that that's why that happens. And yeah, it, it, does it intentionally because that's not it's not supposed to be painful for women. Again, once a month. Like, it doesn't matter if we're talking about cold laser, you're talking about PEMF therapy. Um, these types of devices are what you can bring into the house to help kind of tilt the scales back into your favor yeah. of where we currently are. Yeah, it's it's you taking your power back. And so again, you guys, I mean, that's pretty cheap for this. And I, for the ladies watching, you know, I would definitely consider this because it's something that you're that's going to happen to you once a month until you go through menopause. It's, it's guaranteed to happen. So, um, you know, and it's, it's, there's no, no sense being in pain. And so, um, yeah, here's a lady holding it. It actually looks like something else. It looks like something a little bit naughty, but <laughs> but um, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, is there anything else on here? I, this is so interesting. There's so much. Um, I'm gonna have to look through this website myself. Yeah. Well, again, like that's why I love the site itself is because there are a lot of products that people don't even know or th that are out there. You know, like the the again PEMF, the cold laser therapies. All these different types of sets, they're all just a sister step off from a spooky two you know, product and company, but work just as effectively depending upon the different things that you're using them to go in and address in the body. That is, it's now for, now it has contact us here. Now I know with the spooky two, you have your telegram channel. Is there another place if people want to get into the mirror mate? Is there another place they can talk to you or somebody for, if they have questions, if they invest in this? Yeah. And again, like I always make myself readily available, like all my YouTubes have my telephone number on them. Like I encourage people to reach out if they have questions or you're not sure about how to use a product. Again, same thing as I mentioned before, um, I only provide information relative to my experiences or what I've learned through the use of, you know, experimenting with them or with my clients. So if you ask me something on a product that I haven't used or experimented with, I will just tell you the truth. Hey, I don't know much about this, but let me research into it. Let me loot this. Or let me buy it and get it in my hands. And then I can tell you what my thoughts are on it. Well, I know for a fact you have been, I've heard from so many people, you have been such a great help to um, a lot of people. I've gotten such, I mean, I mean, my friend Hillis, I, we were talking off off camera and we want to do, a, Hillis wants to do a big round table with us and possibly Shanti and just really get into like the, the weirdness, not just about the products, but like the, the we're all a bunch of weirdos. We, we want to know about Tesla, Tesla technology. We want to know about Tartaria. We want to know, cause this makes sense, right? Like this stuff actually, when you, when you think about it, it makes logical sense. It yeah. makes sense, right? It's, it's, um, it's, it's definitely, um, um, well, so again, I like I've always kind of guided the way that I research and learn and want to seek out information as to what I resonate with. You know, like if I start researching into stuff and it's just like totally off topic and I don't like it or I'm not fascinated and it's not resonating with me, you're not going to hold my attention. I'm gone. You know, but if it is something that resonates with me, then that's where I levitate towards. And that's what I want to know more about. Or I want to dig into this. And that's the kind of the beautifulness of where we are right now is is. I always try to tell people, man, if we are living in an age right now from a technology perspective, that if you want to know a question to an, an answer to a question that you have of anything, 
the answer is out there if you take the time to research it. Like you have almost everything fully exposed, the research capabilities and the avenues for doing stuff. When you step outside of the standard Google platforms, yeah. you find anything and everything that you've ever wanted to know or been misled into believing. Absolutely. It's, um, I, you know, one of my biggest frustrations at this time period, my people who watch my channel know this, I get very frustrated with the, with like the truther community in the sense that some of them think that somebody's going to come save you and there's going to be it, but that's actually, that's, that's just replacing one establishment for another establishment. You have to save right. yourself. And part of that is right. taking your own autonomy back and doing the research and, and really listening to your body and getting in touch with your subtle body and, and understanding that you are, you are made up of electrons. You are electricity. That's creation. That's the spark of life, you know? And so if that's being said, if you got, if you were created by God, what can't you do? Everybody has that potential to unlock and restore their body's DNA back to its original integrity of when it was given to you at birth. But you have to put that effort forth of knowing, oh, this is where I need to make adjustments or I need this to try to angle into this because uh, the complexities of where we currently are, like you, you've lived your whole life and brought yeah. you to this point. Um, it's That's not going to get any. I will say I laugh about it because so many people have spent so much money on their education and they're like, I basically spent money on bullshit. I'm like, but did you have fun doing it? Did you have fun in college? <laughs> you just got to laugh about it and be like, well, if this is a lie, then what's the truth and they must be hiding something pretty spectacular if they went through this much trouble to create this elaborate hoax you know and so um so it's it's i thank you so is there anything else you want to and do you, do you have a youtube channel brad no um like i said i don't really have a i mean i post all the stuff for the spooky two people um and i have basic channels just that have all my tutorials and trainings and stuff like that that i do but i don't really have any uh, podcasting or any stuff like that that i talked with i'm honestly I'm too busy i work 12 hour days trying to help people sort i get it i get it i totally get it um mm. yeah people are people are always asking me to open up different channels i'm like i between running esoteric atlanta and teaching outside of here i've got no time so um yes, yes well, you're on telegram though right is it it's under your name is that correct yeah. No, it's actually, um, you can find me at frequency underscore healing 101, frequency healing 101. Um, and again, there are lots of active people in there. Um, I monitor that channel channel with my own, you know, like I built it from myself all the way up to the thousand plus people that are in it now. And I treat each and individual one member in there like a family member. So if you have questions, you need stuff, you need help. Everybody helps contribute in active information. And the only time I ever really step in is if someone's providing inaccurate information or um, again, I don't allow like any crypto stuff. I don't allow any political stuff. All that stuff gets ripped out. And this is just the focus of energy healing and repairing yourself. I, I, I totally dig that. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of the Cassiopeians. I talk about them a lot. They're, a, they've been channel for 30 years now and they've yet to be wrong about anything. And they talk about, and they don't, they, they're kind of vague. They, they don't want to infringe on our free will and they want us to figure it out on our own. But they talk about a lot about networking, how important it is for us to like share information and talk to each other. And if we're not sure about something, more heads are better than one, the more we can look at different perspectives and get closer to the truth. And so I love that you do that on your channel. I actually love, that you only allow it for, to be a healing center and you take everything else out because you know we don't want distractions we want to actually take our sovereignty back and take take back the power in our health because again you know in my opinion the establishment has done it i always say this there are many things but stupid ain't one of them they've done this they've been patient and they've gotten us to to de de deteriorate in your health and when you don't feel good you're not going to be performing at your fullest potential as a human being. And you're not going to be thinking at your fullest potential um, with your discernment. And so this is the first step into taking back your power and taking back my friend Tamara. I'm going to have to get Tamara on with you. I don't know if you're familiar with her, Brad. She's a big um, astrologist down in Australia. She worked in Hollywood and she's huge. She always, you guys know, she's always talking about these Tesla, the, the vibrational healing and getting your health back through that. So, um, so yeah, you guys. Well, Brad, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to share with the audience before we sign off for the day? Nothing. I just have nothing but gratitude. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be here, the opportunity to talk about these products and try to help bring these types of information to people um, that are looking for them. Um, as always, I make myself readily available. Please feel free to reach out if you guys need any help. Um, and again, you know, I know right now we're moving into the weekend and you're going to air this on monday but i hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and uh watching this on monday that you did have a wonderful weekend and if you have any questions please reach out and let me know awesome awesome well thank you so much brad so guys if you want to look at the miramat if you want any of the products 
If you go down into the description box below, you can enter in Bryce Watson at checkout and you'll get 5% off any of the products. That's the same for Spooky too. Two different websites or sister companies, but two different websites is all down in the description box below. I am going to be posting um, Brad's uh, first video with me where we talked about Spooky too as well. Um, and I found out he was he was one of us when we started talking about Tartaria. I was like, ooh, goody, he's just like us. So, so I'll, I'll include that down there as well, guys. And I look forward to having you back on Brad. As always, guys, this week, we got the 4th of July coming up. It's a holiday here. And as you guys know, maybe by the time this is aired, my sister will have already had her baby, but I am on call. So if, if the schedule gets weird, that's why. So, so welcome to the shit show, little one. Welcome to this planet. Um, so anyway, guys, well, I thank you so much, Brad. And I thank you guys over at Spooky2 and Mira Matt for giving me the opportunity. I'm so honored to be able to talk to you and be a part of this, be a part of the solution and not the problem. So I thank you so, so much. And I will talk to all you guys soon. Bye, everybody.